So, good morning students. So, then we're going to do exercise 2.4. Let me read the statement first for you. Estimate the sum by rounding off the numbers to nearest thousands. Nearest thousands. So, we have to round off nearest to thousands. I'm going to start with the V part. First, we'll write the numbers we are having with us. First is 52,425. Since we have to round up the nearest thousands, that means we need three zeros. So these three digits are going to be zero. They will become zero. Now look at this four. Whether it's a weak number or strong number, it's a weak number. So it is not able to push this number to 3. So it will remain 2 only. It will remain 5. These are the numbers we have after rounding up to nearest thousands. Now next that has to be added to it is 71,892. Again we have to round it, round it off to nearest thousands. So we need 3 zeros. So these 3 digits has to become 0. It becomes 0, 0, this becomes 0, this becomes 0. Now look at this 8. Since this 8 is a strong number, since it's a strong number, so it has a power to push this 1 to 2. And this 7 will remain 7. Now there is a sign of addition. So in order to find the estimated sum, estimated sum is a sum that you get after rounding of the numbers to nearest thousand. So what we're going to do is we're going to add them. So we're going to add 52,000 and 72,000. After adding we get this. Now this is your estimated sum. But we have to find the actual sum as well, right? So what we're going to do for that is, we're going to erase these rounded off numbers. Okay. To find the actual sum. Actual sum. Actual means something which is in its original form. We haven't changed it. If we had hadn't rounded off these numbers without rounding rounding off these numbers to nearest thousands, what is the answer you're gonna get? That is called your actual sum. So we're gonna add these numbers as it is. Without rounding off them to the nearest thousands. We're gonna add them, okay? Always start adding your numbers from one place. So we have seven, eleven, one comes here. It's 13, it's 4, and it's 12. So in actual sum box, you're going to put this value. And in estimated sum, you're going to put this value. I hope it is clear. So let's move to our next number. Our C part. We're going to do the same thing to C part as well. It's 86,262. We're going for estimated sum first. Okay? Estimated sum. You know what is sum? After getting, uh, then the, when you add them, the answer that you get is called your sum. So we're going to round off these to nearest thousands. Since rounding off to nearest thousands, so we need three zeros. So we want three digits from the side from the right side to become 0. 2 is going to become 0, 6 will become 0, this 2 will become 0 as well. Now look at this 2, whether it's a weak or a strong number, it's a weak number. So it is not able to push this 6 to 7. So it will remain 6 only and this is your rounded off number. Next number in this is 62,660. Six. Now we're going to round it off to the nearest thousand. Six has to become zero, zero, zero. Now look at this zero. 
sorry look at this six this six is a strong number and strong number has a power to push this next number to the three right so it will become three one up it has been pushed one up just because the six is a strong number so it pushed this two to three and the six will remain six after that you have to add this one you are already rounded off number here and the answer you get after word will become your estimated sum okay now this was your estimated sum now we have to find actual actual sum means we don't have to round up them to nearest thousands simply as it is we are given we have to add those addenda only no need to round up them simply the addenda we are having just add them it was your estimated sum now we have to find actual sum first write these numbers 86262 to this we can add these addenda as it is and add them 8 12 1 will be carried here it will be 9 8 and 14 clear this is your estimated sum so you have to write it here only and this is your actual sum that you have to write here okay moving on to the d part d part same thing but you have to stop the video here and you have to do the d part on your own after solving it you have to look back okay first we're going to find estimated sum so i'm going to do this directly i have number 21935 these three will become zero now this nine is a strong number so it's going to push It's going to push this one to 2 and 2 will remain 2. And uh, the number is 52,138. These three will become 0, 0, 0. Now look at this one. This one is a weak number. So it's not able to push this 2 to 3. This 2 will not be pushed to 3. It will remain 2 only and this one 5 only. Now we have to add this one here. So after adding, this is your estimated sum. So I'm gonna erase this all since you have to find the actual sum as well. So this is your estimated sum. It's your estimated sum. Now we're gonna find actual sum very clear from the name actual as it was given. Simply add the addenda eight plus five thirteen three plus three six plus one seven eight plus one is sorry nine plus one is ten and this one four and seven this is your actual sum it has to come here and this is your estimated sum that will go here I hope understood.